Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls, a documentary. Now, I'm going to head back up this ladder, but I'm going to recommend at this point that if you don't have the master key, you really should go buy the residential key from the merchant, because there is a certain place that you will need it. Not, not in this episode, but you will need it eventually. Now, I'm going to try and do the little dragon thing this time. Maybe he'll actually cooperate. Yes, he will. Excellent. Good dragon. Now, if you see right there, 555 souls for free. I didn't do anything for that. And you can run down to the bonfire, save, run back up, and do it a billion times. Whew. Look at this. You see that bridge down there? You can go down there. You can go pretty much anywhere in this game. Now, for those of you that are having a little bit of trouble, which... If you're playing Dark Souls, should be all of you. This is where you can get the Drake Sword. Now, the Drake Sword is kind of like this fabled, super overpowered starter weapon, more or less. And you can shoot this guy's tail for, like, a long time. Hey, Mouse Cursor, get out of here. You can shoot this guy's tail for a very long time. And eventually, it will break. But first, you have to hit it. Now, that's an important part. <laughs> oh, that's the wall. Okay, embarrassing. It will take a lot of arrows, so I highly recommend that if you're going to do this, you stock up. God dang it. Stock up so you can just sit here for a while and miss. And eventually, it will break off. I'm going to skip ahead until then that happens. You know, on second thought, I think I'm going to break it a different way, but if you so desire, that is the easiest way to do it by far. It's one of two ways, pretty much. Now I'll walk up to this guy and stab him in the back, because he was sleeping on the job, and we don't like that. We don't like slackers in Dark Souls, do we? Slackers are losers. Come on. Come on. Oh, messing around. Now I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, get off. Get off. Bye-bye. Ah. Drink a potion because I totally blew it already. Hi, guys. Now, these rats will poison you, which is not recommended for happiness. That bar, will f if that bar fills up, you become poisoned. That's basically how any effects work in this game. You'll get that bar. Oh, bye, rat. Poor little guy. And then you will run out of poison resistance. Now, you can gain poison resistance through certain gear as well as uh, endurance. You can also put points in resistance, but everything gives resistance. So putting points in resistance is completely pointless. Unless you're like level 700 or something like that. Some ridiculously high level. Oh, look. There's a corner note. Gorgeous view. That gives a thumbs up from me. <laughs> I like it. Now we're going to climb this ladder and take our first steps into the Undead Parish. Right, come here, little guy. I'm going to kill this guy, but I'm not going to progress any further because, as you can see, there's a giant iron bowl along with a lot of dudes. But we're going to put that off for a moment because there's a couple things I want to show you. Most importantly, up here you will meet a drink because this is actually quite dangerous. You will meet... Black Knight Number Dose with his great sword of doom. And he will kill you. I already got whacked really hard. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I could have planned that better. <laughs> I didn't expect to win against him first try, but I was hoping he would be the one to kill me. Alright, now, before we go past this part again, I'm going to show you the second part of how to kill the Drake, just because we're here. Might as well run across and don't get, you know, eviscerated with flames. And now here's the part where if you had the master key, you should have this. If you didn't, if you 
didn't have the master key, hopefully you got the residential key to do this and got the golden pine resin. So we're going to do a sneaky little exploit type thing. That's right. See how he just ran down? He'll do that if you're standing in this corner. Now he just totally did something I did not want. I kind of have blown this. I'm dead, pretty sure. Somehow I'm still alive, but this is pretty much the epitome of a bad situation. Yep. I did not expect for him to come after me like that. But, it's my fault. So, dodge the flames. Use your golden pine resin and run into this wall. You just gotta kinda like, zigzag it back and forth and eventually he'll just jump down. Now obviously you don't have to run into the wall because it's kind of goofy but it's the easiest way to get him to come down like this and then you go two-handed with your weapon make sure you beat the crap out of his tail and there you go he drops the sword and then you can grab this stuff and book it into here because it's about to shoot flames Curses. This whole segment is pretty much a perfect case of the uh, Curse of the LP, where you just get totally unlucky and just smashed at every chance you get, even though if, when you do it on your own, it would never happen like this. As soon as you turn on that camera, it's GG. Now we're going to book it into here, which should cause the dragon to leave. Right after he gives us a nice smile. No! No, 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 no. You missed me. Now fly away. He is majestic in his own evil, evil, evil way. Oh god, how great would it be if he turned and just killed me? Anyway, so, we are here. Now this statue is important to a covenant called the Warriors of Sunlight, aka the Sun Bros. Um, you can either enter them by having 25 faith, or by doing some summoning to help other players. Every time that you help another player, the faith requirement goes down by 5. So if you've helped one player, you only need 20 faith. If you've helped two players, you only need 15, etc. You can get it down to zero eventually. Now this bonfire, it's kind of hard to get to. If you haven't noticed, you have to run past the dragon and whatnot. But I'd say it's rather worth it. So boost up my endurance a little bit. And we open this gate. And... Voila! Looks familiar, right? Now this makes the trip back here much easier. I'm playing like crap today, by the way. I don't know why, but I am absolutely horrible. And now we're going to give this Black Knight another try. Now, he has a great sword, and when these guys have great swords, at least for me, I can't dodge them for crap. Also, that's just cruel that he just comes up and does that. This would be another good time to use the gold pine resin, but remember, if you mess up the fight, then that gold pine resin is gone. Now you have to try and learn his attacks! Waste of a potion. Because he's very good at turning. And I'm dead. Oh my god, my potion got off. No way. Alright. And now I'm dead. Now, as you can see, this guy is kind of my kryptonite. I've never been good at fighting these things. Oh my lord! Ah, ah, so much fail. This is the part where it stops being walked through and starts being LP. Uh. Come at me, bro. Now, this guy seems to have a lot more health than the other one as well. Get a hit in where you can, and just make sure you have enough stamina to dodge. 
Otherwise, that'll happen. He's so mean. I need a better playing field. Come on. Come on. Oh, whoa, what the heck? How'd you do that? Where did you come from? He did a ton of damage to himself. He was like, he was over half health when I last saw him. <laughs> I think he jumped off the building and hurt himself. What a dum-dum. Ow, hey, what the heck? Look at this open area we can fight in. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was close. <laughs> da -boop, right in the butthole. Boop. Oh, it's on now. It's on like Donkey Kong now. It's on like Donkey Kong now. What are you gonna do? You're almost dead. You're almost dead. Oh God, Ben. Jesus Christ. Keep your shield up. What are you doing? Come on. It's a good thing you don't have any Estus flasks because you're nothing but a, you're nothing but a suit of armor. There's not even anyone in there. Read the lore. You're a butthole. And now you were stabbed at the butthole. And we have defeated him for a Titanite chunk. That is all you get from him, but it is quite valuable, I assure you. Also, there is a chance for him to drop his armor. No, not part of his armor. He can drop his sword, which is muy powerful. Now, this room is a little daunting, to say the least. You can kind of piss off enemies from afar, and if you see across the way, the gate is open. Now, that guy right there... As soon as you get in there and kind of engage, he's going to run into that gate and close it. Now, I'm going to let him do it because if you do if you do run through there, you skip quite a bit and I'd rather show you. But if you know what's ahead and you want to backtrack a little bit afterwards, you can sprint straight through uh, to the gate, beat him before he closes the gate, and you'll be pretty close to a bonfire there. So it's not too shabby. Now we're just going to poke our head out. And piss this guy off without pissing off the giant metal. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I had the one wrong. It is the guy to the left of the boar that he runs back and. Wait for it. There goes the gate. So the shortcut is now closed. Come on. Come on, Spearman. Now, if there's anything I learned from that greatsword guy, it's that shields are incredibly effective against jabbing attacks. Whenever you would try and poke me with the sword and I held my shield up, it did nothing. All right, now, to face this guy, there are multiple ways. I would not recommend a straight-up fight. I'd recommend running in here because he can't follow you up the stairs. Thank God. Now, this can be a little hard because you have two crossbowmen bearing down on you while you're trying to kill a guy with a spear, and I'm pretty sure there's another guy coming in behind me. Hey! Wake up, dude! Oh my god. Crossbowmen everywhere. Now. Alright, screw it. Screw you, Spearman. You're not being cooperative. I'm just gonna kill these guys instead. Or at least knock him off and laugh at him. Now die. Would you kindly die? Good lord. There's a lot of enemies up here now. As you can see, this area can get kind of hectic. So if you want to clear it out with your bow before you even go in, that's a very viable, smart thing to do. I am now out of potions. So I'm not exactly in the best of situations. Oh, spear guy's dumb. Good to know. Now, one way to kill the bull is with firebombs, but I'm just going to kill the spear guy with it because he's a dick. There you go. How about that? You know what? You get one too. It's freaking firebombs for the whole family. Yep. All right. We are out of potions. Grab these alluring skulls. This is my favorite way to kill him because it's totally hilarious. Now, make sure you're standing far enough back on this that when you throw, it doesn't knock you down and try and hit the barrel. Oh, you like it, boy? Oh, yeah, just run into the flames. It's perfect. <laughs> He's kind of angry. He's not a very smart animal. Now, you can also use this to lure him under you and do a plunging attack and stab him right in his stupid head. But 
This is the only time I've ever found myself using the alluring skulls. I'm sure there are other places you can use it, but this is the only place I do. And we just get to watch him set himself on fire. Now, another way you can do it is you can actually backstab the boar. Yep, that's right. You swing right around him to the one exposed part of his body, his pooper, and then you just shove your sword right in there. Right in there. Yep. It's very uh, effective, I guess. Come on, little guy. Right. A little more. A little more. Aw, oh, he's so cute. And right in the body. Now, unfortunately for me, it did not drop, but he can sometimes drop the Fang Boar helmet. Yes, that is right. You can run around with his head on your head. And it is quite entertaining. Now, I'm going to leave this episode off because I took me a little longer than I hoped it would. But I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And in the next episode, we will get to the next bonfire. I'll see you next time. I'm done with the people. But first, we level up. Endurance, endurance.